Okay, everyone, here I am going to unbox the, the deck that I made. My test print has finally arrived. I'm really excited. And here it is. Da -da 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 -da! The Rock and Roll Tarot deck. Awesome! Here's the front, here's the back. Okay, let's get into it. The sides. It comes with a box. It's nice and big, too. This is much bigger than um, a normal deck here. If I have my other cards to compare it to. I can pull those out, too. But let me get this open. I can't wait to see it. I gotta send it back and get my UPC on. I'm gonna redo one thing. There's a couple mistakes. I hope they didn't show up. Oh, here they are! Oh, I'm so excited. This is uh, I worked on these for nearly four months, day and night. Oh, they're so cool. They're so big. All right, here's the back. Oh, the eyes a little bit red. <laughs> That's a little bit uh, more red than I wanted. Maybe I might have to alter that, but maybe not. Oh, here's the, they're nice big size. Like, here's them next to the Beast Mistress card. And then here's them next to the, the uh, Hanson Roberts that I usually use. Let's see. Much bigger. Well, that red eye is kind of bothering me a little. I might have to tone that down, but I don't know. Let's see. Ooh, here they are. These are the swords. Each suit has, um, well, each, they all have keywords. Which is cool. I'm going to get into that more. Uh huh. Each suit has its own colors. So the swords are these blue and green and purple tones. The major arcana are kind of a rainbow. These are the fire. The fire cards have um, reds, of course, reds and oranges. Looks very red. There actually is oranges in it. Sometimes this color is a little off, but so far I'm not that concerned about the color. Here's more swords and major arcana. Cool. <laughs> uh, Major Arcana swords, Major Arcana swords, 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 Major Arcana, Major Arcana. Here's some more swords, uh, Major Arcana. Here's the, the uh, some of the uh, water, the cups. So the cups are dark blue background with the rainbow. I don't really want to mix them up that much. Let's just go through. I mean, I don't want them. Organized. These are the earth. The earth sign, or the earth, or the pentacles, which is earth, is brown. And not everything, right? Uh, we got fire, air, earth, water. Yeah. Oh, they turned out so cool. <laughs> uh, what did I notice? Is any of that? A couple of them I saw that the sides were a little messed up. Is that noticeable in any of these? Well, I'm going to have to work with these, you know, and, and get into them more. See, here's what's cool about these cards when I was making them. Yeah, there's words, and there's, at first I was going to make them be all, um, you know, like each word one color, so you could really distinguish the words from each other. And by the way, I may go back and do that. I, there's so many color options, but that was the hardest thing about this after I got the line art done was good doing the colors because there's so many different um, color variations that I could do. And I think I will release at some point maybe a day glow version and then maybe a pastel version and then maybe a monochromatic version which often these 60s art posters are, are monochromatic. But then I ended up just going with let these the, let them all run together. So it's cool if you're just learning to read tarot because you have the keywords right on there. Craftsman, gratification, prosper, groove. Uh, flow, Eight of Pentacles, art, Artisan, um, Skill, Satisfaction. But what's going to happen is there's other words in there. Like I just saw Rue. You can go the other way and you're going to see other words. And I, we haven't even got into how they're going to look upside down. It's good for beginners because you're going to have your keywords, right? But then once you get into it, if you just kind of let your mind wander, you're going to start seeing stuff in here. I, I, I was seeing stuff as I was coloring them, and it's good for lots of things. Other words may be in there. Like, this looks like rose to me. Take out the P, but I just looked, glanced at it and saw rose, you know? So it could be somebody's name, but even the initials could be somebody's name. Like, if just one letter stands out to you when you're reading these cards, it could be a name, an initial. It's going to be real helpful, I feel, in doing readings for people about really getting in deep and picking up some psychic stuff. And like artisan, the word art uh, shows up here. 
um, I see ease. There's lots of words in here that I noticed as I was making them. You know, it was unintentional. It just happened. I, when I was putting this together, I was just saying, how can I fit all these in? It was like a jigsaw puzzle. How can I fit all I have my keywords? How can I fit them all in around the picture? You know, that was the, that was the plan with that. And, um, you know, so now, then as I was doing the coloring, I'm like, oh, look. Like, that almost looked like sh sushi to me for a minute. You know, there's going to be, this is going to happen like crazy for people. So I think that's so cool. Um, so I, I purposely didn't color each word individually. Let it all run together. I mean, if you want to go in and pick out particular words, and if you're just learning, as I said, this would be great for, you know, picking up uh, words. But, oh, I'm so happy with how they turned out. Oh, they look so cool. This was like four, almost four months of me working on, I work, I work a day shift. I do the readings in the morning, then work all afternoon on them, take a dinner break and whatever, relax for a while, and then I would work on them again all evening for close to four months. So this is a huge, um, those red eyes look too, like, stoner eyes, don't they? I don't know about that. Well, I'm going to leave it like it is for now. Uh, I'm not going to do any revisions. I don't see any drastic thing that needs revising. And, of course, these are from the uh, Rider Waite Smith, her original things, but I had to redo them. Like, I redid the Pentacles differently. I reworked a lot of stuff, you know, like if this one again. If you look at the original Eight of Pentacles, the Pentacles are lined up on the thing, so I, you know, I moved them around and, ah, oh, turned out so cool. I can't wait to start doing the readings with these, so uh, I'm going to post an, probably another update video after I've actually done a bunch of readings with them and worked with them a little and see if any more insights and stuff has come through, but here they are. It's here, the Rock and Roll Tarot deck. Woohoo! Okay, everybody, I'll talk to you soon. Bye. Okay, I just finished doing the 12 uh, readings for the month uh, with these cards. And a couple of things that I don't like, or I've noticed that I like errors or mistakes, I forgot on this card that does not say the Four of Swords somewhere, so I'm going to have to squeeze it in. All the rest are correct, but one card doesn't have its name on it. Um. They're they're thin. I mean, I guess they're just the same thinness as the um, the animal totem cards. But for some reason, they when you go to shuffle like this, it seems like they're real thin because they're so large. You can really notice it. See how they kind of you know, they're they're very. Th they seem thin. I don't know. They're the same thickness. It's a card stock, but the, I mean, you don't have to shuffle them that way. Uh, the last thing that I, it, it's a, I don't know if I want to change or not, but it's not symmetrical. Like, I didn't think of that. Like, this card is symmetrical, so you can't tell by looking at the back of the card whether it's upright or reverse, and you kind of can. I mean, I guess it's not that noticeable. I don't know that I'll change that for now. I think I might just leave that. I mean, a lot of people like to read the cards only in the upright position, so, I mean, but, but when you're shuffling, I don't know if you'd really... If it's really that noticeable. I, di I didn't find it that noticeable. But I did know, I mean, I noticed it, but I, I don't find it that noticeable while I'm shuffling or doing the readings. The cool thing about these, these cards, I mean, I was just seeing so much stuff. I was even saying during the readings, I usually laid out like four, three rows of four, like 12 cards. I may have to cut it down because off one individual card, I was seeing so much stuff. The words were changing and morphing, just like I hoped they would. Um... These cards are deep. There's so much, and I didn't. I'm doing the video, so I'm looking at the screen, and I, I didn't really get into it. These are going to be really good for doing readings. You're going to be able to get a lot of information out of these cards, um, names, initials. But other, the words were changing and changing from one word to another. Like I'd glance at it, and I thought it said something else. But you know, if that happens, if you're using these cards, don't correct yourself. You know, let it that spirit coming through. And I barely touched the surface even about going upside down. Because you turn these shapes upside down and it's even more crazy stuff that can be um, triggered, you know, from the cards. So I'm really, really happy. There's just a couple little things, mainly that I gotta fix this four of swords has no um, has no name on it. But there's room I can kind of get it in there. I could put the four here and the swords there or something I was thinking. Uh, but I'm not going to have them reprinted right away, so the initial printing, the Four Swords will be, be nameless. And I'm not sure about the eye. I mean, the way I could make it uh, symmetrical would be to take the eyelid off of it. I may experiment around with it because I still don't like this eye being so red. That That's awfully... It was sort of... on the You know, the screen is always lighter 
pixels are light and ink is darker. It was sort of just a real light pink hue, not like completely bloodshot. So <laughs> I may at some point go and change it because I do have to change the, I have to put a UPC on the box if I want to sell it on Amazon. So, um, but I'm overall just thrilled and happy. I was getting so much and there's still so much more to discover on in this deck. I mean, I'm I'm just so excited and I look forward to, you know, doing more readings with it and really getting into it. And um, also, I look forward to um, you guys, your impact, your impact, <laughs> your input, you know, and feedback, the, uh, anything that you guys are picking up from, from using the cards. Uh, I really look forward to hearing that as well. Okay, so that's my uh, initial summation of the new Rock and Roll Tarot deck. I don't know if I showed the box. This is the box. I'm going to upload this, and you guys can watch this and watch the videos as well, because we'll be using these in the videos from now on. Okay, I hope you guys like the deck and check it out. Okay, okay so um, I've had a little more time to work with the deck. I did decide to go ahead and change I changed the back, so I don't know if you ordered it earlier, if you'll still get this back, but I used a different uh, photo. And I did also, the other thing I did do was tone down the red in the eyes. Because that's just too much red, I feel. So I toned down the red in the eyes and changed the box because I had to add a UPC on it, too. Um, people were saying when I was doing the reading, you know, this isn't symmetrical. I'm going to leave it like it is. They were saying that I was, like, maybe trying to flip them upright, and I, I really wasn't. I think I was just, they're big and hard to handle, and I wasn't sure. I don't have an absolute... You know, the other cards, I just flip them without even thinking. So I'm going to have to find a way to do it. I think I'm going to leave it not symmetrical for the time being. Um, I did not change the Four of Swords because um, it's kind of hard. I think I would have to upload the whole deck again. And um, with this, to change the back of the box, it's easier because it's like a separate component kind of thing. So if you ordered it, I don't know, you may not even get this red-eyed one, but if you did, then that would be different. And the picture will be different too. The other thing I wanted to touch on real quick, I finally got the Animal Totem books. I wanted to kind of just show you guys these real quickly it's nice it's turned out really nice it's really thick um, and there's 47 one-sided uh, images plus I have those note sections in between so I'll start from the beginning here even the front thing you can cover if you want color if you want to so there's a like the ant and then uh, the next page is ant and armadillo so armadillo is like the next one up so if you're coloring or doing this and you have you want to make a note, you're just always one page away from where it is. I'm doing a new book, a new coloring book, and I'm the images up here in the, the note section will be right below it. But um, so it's pretty, it's really cool. I mean, it's the paper's reasonably thick. I'm sure it'd be fine for coloring. I, if I were using this book, I would put a piece of paper in between. And probably not a real thin piece of paper like this. That's just all I have handy. I would put a you know a thicker piece of paper, possibly even a, a piece of like thin cardboard or something in between. Especially if you were going to use like um, well the note section probably wouldn't matter, but other coloring sections. You know, um, I would put you know, something in between. Especially if you were going to use like markers or something that's real, you know, colored pens or something like that. Then I would definitely use some kind of protective thing in between but it really turned out really good it's really thick because I was I want to release this as a coloring book too this tarot art because I have all the line art from these tarot cards but I don't know it, it might be really um, really really thick but I think it's kind of okay I mean you can open it up I mean it might get a little bent up in the back here um, do it just a quick you know quick go through this is a cool one so some parts of it are real detailed, some are not. So if you feel like getting really into details, then you can pick one of those. If you don't feel like getting into details, then you can just pick one of the ones that's less detailed. Um, also, in the ones that are less detailed, for instance, like this rabbit, if you want to do, it leaves room for you, too, to kind of, you could do, like, swirly designs or stuff, almost like, you know, henna. I was almost going to fill those in with henna, and I decided not to. Not henna, but you know what I mean, those kind of designs. So parts of it are swirly, parts of it are not. This one would be a very detailed one. Uh, this one, not so much, you know. Um, 
this one, you know, got all the stars and everything. Stars. The Leo. This was very detailed with all the hair and everything. I mean, you don't have to color each individual strand. You could just, like, go over it in a solid yellow if you wanted. The ladybug has some cool background stuff to go into. This has a lot of detailed stuff in the flowers. So pretty neat. I wanted to show one, the wasp. I went back and forth on this wasp one. I love this wolf. That's one of my favorite favorite cards too. Whether I should make the wings translucent, and I decided to, to leave it like that. That was intentional. I could have made this like white, but that way you can color if you really want to get into it. You can color the um, insides of the wings like a slightly different color. Like, say you're making all of these yellow, then maybe you want to make this a brighter yellow or a darker yellow to give that like dimensional uh, thing. Because on the on the actual card, I did it that way. I left the wings translucent. I probably can't see it that well. I don't have the cards real handy to show you, but you can see some of the swirls through the wings. I, you know that one. I don't know. I kind of went back and forth with that, and I just I decided in the end to leave it. Um, swirly. I mean, you could color it over with solid color if you wanted, or, you know, it's there's a lot of room for uh, being creative and opening up. And like I said, you're spending a lot of time with this animal, so you, you can just flip over the next page and start writing down notes. And it also has my interpretations from the cards there. And you can't see it that clear on the camera, but it is very legible. I was worried about that a little bit. But you can definitely read uh, what I said on the original cards. Um, yeah, so here it is, the Beast Mistress, uh, or not, that's not what I called it, the Animal Total, Totem Coloring Book, Relaxing Art Therapy for Children and Adults Alike. Yeah, and on the back I have some of the colored um, cards. So I think it's a pretty cool little coloring book. So if you're into that, definitely pick it up. And um, the Beast Mistress Animal, I mean this card, this deck, the Rock and Roll Tarot, I'm just so over the moon about this and excited, so I hope you all like it. Okay, everybody, that's, uh, the, I'm going to go ahead and wrap this up, and I'll upload it to YouTube. Thanks for watching. Bye.